Welcome to our in-depth comparison of two notable fighter jets from China, the J-10 and the JF-17. These aircraft embody the technological advancements of modern military aviation, each tailored to meet specific operational needs. First up is the J-10, known as the Vigorous Dragon. This multi-role fighter, primarily used by the Chinese Air Force, is designed for both air superiority and ground attack missions. With its sleek design and powerful capabilities, the J-10 represents a significant leap in China's fighter technology. On the other side, we have the JF-17, also known as Thunder. This lightweight, multi-role aircraft is a product of collaboration between China and Pakistan, primarily serving the Pakistani Air Force. In this video, we will explore both fighters, comparing their design, performance, and capabilities to see how they stack up against each other. The J-10, also known as the Firebird by NATO, is a tiny multi-role fighter with a single engine that can fly in any weather. It was designed for the People's Liberation Army Air Force to conduct strike and air-to-air -air combat operations. Its radar is equipped with a mechanically scanned planar, array antenna, and can track up to 10 targets. The JF-17 Thunder known as the Block 3 variant and stands out as a lightweight, single-engine, multi-role combat aircraft, resulting from collaborative efforts between China and Pakistan, tailored to meet the demands of contemporary air warfare. The JF-17 has not only become a prominent asset within the Pakistan Air Force, but has also drawn international attention for its cost-effectiveness and operational prowess. Let's compare both aircraft. The J-10 measures 16.9 meters, 55 feet in length, while the JF-17 is slightly shorter at 14.326 meters, 47 feet. The J-10 has a maximum takeoff weight of 19,227 kilograms 42,388 pounds. Compared to the JF-17's lighter, maximum takeoff weight of 13,500 kilograms, 29,762 pounds. The J-10 boasts a fuel capacity of 4,950 liters, 3,860 kilograms internally. In contrast, the JF-17 has an internal fuel capacity of 3,000 liters, 2,449 kilograms, and can carry drop tanks for increased range. The J-10 is powered by a single WS-10B afterburning turbofan engine, producing 89.17 kN 20,050 pounds force thrust, which can increase to 135 to 144 kilonewton with afterburner. The JF-17, on the other hand, uses a Klimov RD-93 engine that generates 49.4 kilonewton, 11,100 pounds force dry thrust, and 84.4 kilonewton, 19,000 pounds force with afterburner. The J-10 has a combat radius of approximately 1,400 kilometers, whereas the JF-17 boasts a longer range of 3,482 kilometers. The J-10 can reach speeds of up to Mach 1.8, while the JF-17 has a maximum speed of Mach 1.6.
the J10 features 11 hardpoints. With a total external capacity of 5,600 kilograms for fuel and ordnance. The JF-17, meanwhile, has eight hardpoints, with dual ejector racks on each underwing hardpoint, allowing for various weapons configurations. The J-10C is estimated to cost around 40 to $50 million. Whereas the JF-17 is more economical with a price tag of approximately $25 million per aircraft. The J-10 is equipped to carry a variety of weapons. To enhance its combat capabilities, it can utilize short-range air-to-air missiles, including the PL-8 and PL-10, which are designed for close dogfights. For medium-range engagements, the J-10 can be armed with radar-guided missiles, like the PL-12 and PL-15, allowing it to target enemy aircraft at greater distances. Additionally, the J-10 can deploy unguided and precision-guided munitions, such as laser-guided bombs, to strike ground targets accurately. It is also capable of carrying air-to-surface missiles, like the KD-88 anti-ship missiles, such as the YJ-91A, and anti-radiation missiles, like the YJ-91, making it a versatile platform for various mission types. While JF-17 is designed to carry an array of weapons, making it a capable multi-role fighter, it can launch short-range air-to-air missiles, like the PL-5 and PL-12, for engaging aerial threats effectively. For precision ground attacks, the JF-17 can be armed with laser-guided bombs and various unguided bombs to strike enemy installations. Additionally, it is equipped to carry air-to-surface missiles, such as the CM-400 AKG, allowing it to engage ground targets with precision. The JF-17 can also deploy anti-ship missiles like the C-802, which enhances its versatility in naval operations. With this diverse armament, the JF-17 can effectively support both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. Recently, Iran, in particular, has renewed its interest in fighter jets after a complicated attempt to purchase 36 J-10C jets from China in 2021, which fell through due to Iran's financial constraints. Tehran is now seeking to buy JF-17C Block 3 jets from Pakistan. The JF-17 is popular in the global defense market for its affordability, advanced technology, and combat effectiveness. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about both fighters in the comment section. Introducing Jetline Marvel's first ever aircraft encyclopedia, a must have for aviation enthusiasts. Dive into a world filled with stunning images and fascinating details about the most iconic commercial and fighter aircraft. Explore the skies from the comfort of your home with this exciting collection. Now available on Amazon.